So GK and Aerospace sees Factory of the Future as a really important part of our next steps. Evolving from where we've been, a 250 plus year old company, uh, we see the advancement of manufacturing in particular through a number of areas. Additive manufacturing, um, the implementation of artificial intelligence and particularly machine learning, and augmented reality, um, putting the users with information in their hands in a different kind of way than we've ever been able to do before, all gaining productivity benefits and supported by our strategy, which is growing our capability, not just in the UK, but globally. And we have now four manufacturing centres for technology development, and the next one that's going to be announced is in the UK. GK and Aerospace is using the three technologies I've talked about. In terms of our factory of the future, we are looking at additive manufacturing, Others call it 3D printing. We like to think of it as a, an additive process rather than a subtractive process for creating new parts and also developing designs which could not otherwise be delivered by traditional means. Um, we see it as complementary to other manufacturing technologies, but more importantly, it brings a new set of skills together, materials, properties, alongside with manufacturing, alongside with design, all those three coming together. Um, we're developing new products which are making the market, particularly in aerospace, we have now seven flying components, which is unusual for most manufacturers to get those qualified, some flying on the Saab TX program, some flying on engines like the A350, XWV, and we see them being really disruptive to the future of manufacturing. The second of those, um, we talked about artificial intelligence, machine learning. We're actually using that technology already to cut down the build time for additive processes, for example. Something that used to take tw two weeks to develop now can take two hours. So we're using the opportunity that we can see to code in to our new machines that we're getting, um, machine learning capability, improving the ability to produce products more efficiently. And the third one was um, virtual reality, augmented reality. And we're actually using that to design the concept of our future factories. And we're building the uh, training material for those factories in virtual reality first. And we've actually created a collaborative platform for others in our supply chain to engage with us, actually using it as a part of our platform for growing our capability with that supply chain. In this regard, we've been using it, um, again, with additive manufacturing in mind, to design and develop on a global basis new designs that could be collaborated from across the globe and put them into a virtual space, do the design reviews together, saving time for people traveling, but also being able to assess the actual fit within the assembled product at the end or within one environment. So if you look at it, additive manufacturing, machine learning, and virtual reality, augmented reality, all come together through the, the factory of the future.